Hi and welcome to another Wednesday with Vilna. So yesterday I went to Michael's and I just went on a little shopping spree for today's video and I bought this beautiful wooden, uh, it's called wooden laser cut frames and some Martha Stewart products and I'm going to be using gelatas as you can see there. I'm starting with a dark purple, I'll tell you the story in a second and then a lighter purple and then an even lighter purple and what prompted this color scheme is a image that I saw on Pinterest isn't this beautiful it's a cheesecake but with this ombre with purple and I absolutely loved it and for some reason it just stuck in my mind and I knew when I started this layout today that I want to do purple fading from dark to light so of course this is one of my favorite techniques and for those of you who don't know it I have a brand new workshop out with Studio Calico called Color Theory and it's on sale now you can you can register for it the class starts only in March but someone emailed me and asked if this class is different than my other classes and I said to her, you know, it's a difficult question to answer because I make so many pages. It feels like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. And um, but still, I I just realized, and I and I was thinking about it when I made when I made this page is how you can use a different color scheme, different embellishments, and the same technique, but get a total different outcome. So I hope, in a way, that you will. Just believe me when I say to you that you will learn something new in this workshop and every workshop that I do, even though my style won't change, but the way we get to the final product will change. And um, I always endeavor to do something new, you know, even if it's a very slight um, deviation of what I've done in the past. I think it, it's always just fun to do something new. So I'm painting um, this wood laser cut um, frame that I got from Michaels just with white paint, Martha Stewart paint. And I have a stack of white cardstock that I bought from Staples on a sale. And those pieces of paper are so handy to work on, to use when you have to um, paint something like that. So it's just a little tip. Okay, so now I'm using these labels also by Martha Stewart and the daisies. I love, love, love the daisies. There's not a time that I walk past that shelf that I don't think, oh my gosh, I love the daisies. But they're quite expensive. I think they're like $8 a sheet. So wait till you can get a coupon or Martha Stewart stuff is on sale, then you can get it for cheaper. So now I'm just placing them to see what I want to do. I'm not entirely sure. I'm more or less playing now and you will see how everything will change in a little bit. I was thinking of doing the ombre from the top up and like the cake but then uh, I don't know it didn't balance well for me and I also got these lovely chalkboard labels from um from Michaels and I was hoping that I can use them and I think I will use them in some later project. I'm just adding a touch of hot glue, pretend you didn't see that, to add to my photograph and I'm just going to cut the edges. And um, I also want to, this is just me being super lazy, um, so easy just to do it like that. And to measure and cut and measure and cut. So I just stick it down and cut off the excess parts. Yeah, it's it's funny. I mean, that doesn't look so bad on film, that whole idea. But then again, you know what? I just wasn't happy. So I'm taking everything apart. And luckily... Um, they don't stick down super tacky so that if you take them off, it's not that your whole page will come off with them. 
So there I'm turning the layout to get more of a balance, like yarn on the one side and the, the heavy purple on the other side. It, feel, it felt more balanced to me. Does that make sense? Well, I hope it does. And then um, I decided to do my favorite, one of my favorite techniques as well, just the embellishment cluster right down the middle. So I'm using those little labels and I'm adding a flower to each of them. And I think what can also be lovely is if you stamp on the labels with um, with stamps that has more like a typewriter font or you can even print on them little sayings and sentiments and then and then stick them down. So in retrospect, I was thinking I should have stamped on the little labels with a maybe a light gray or something like that. So that's a cut file, spread your wings and fly. And that's going to be free in the color theory workshop, as well as that be awesome. It's also free in the color theory workshop. That workshop is filled with free cut files and things. So it's absolutely worth it. Plus they have a limited um, stock. If you register right away, you will get a little silk screen package with with a dark blue paint with it that they will send to you. And um, we are going to be using silk screens in the class and I will show you how to use those little Studio Calico silk screens. So much fun. We're gonna just do so much fun with it. The class is more for acrylic paints um, to promote the color theory acrylic paints. But if you don't have uh, that specific brand you can use any acrylic paints for the layer for the class so that's just a little pimping my my studio calico workshop i hope you enroll and the enrollment ends um february 28th and then you can't get it anymore so jump on it get get into that workshop i'm doing another workshop with craftsy.com uh, that will be on sale end of april but that workshop is filled with brand new techniques and it's almost like a higher grade art class like art class on stero steroids it's gonna be so much fun anyway okay so you saw that i just add another layer of paint on my frame and i used a little bit of hot glue to to add the be awesome and now i'm almost done i'm just going to add a little bit of chipboard embellishments and I'm doing it with um, this beautiful uh, collection by Crate Paper Kiss Kiss. It's a Valentine collection. And I've said it so many times, but whenever there's a 12 by 12 chipboard embellishment um, sheet available, I buy not one, not two, but probably four of them. I absolutely love chipboard embellishments, my favorite embellishments. So I'm just adding a few arrows and it doesn't look super Valentine-ish, but it does give a little perspective and dimension to the layout. So also think that colors complement each other. I'm adding a touch of hot glue to the embellishments because I found that after a while they sometimes starts to fall off and I detest it if something falls off a layout. And that's the reason why I love hot glue so much. So yeah, I always do a drop on my layout. And um, when will I learn? I don't know. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of white paint and paint around the frame. You can't really see it there video is a little light here but I've discovered that acrylic paint if you paint the page with it especially a heavy textured cardstock like this American Crafts cardstock it writes you write on it easy easier so I just enjoy the journaling um, more if it's a little smoother so wherever I'm going to journal I'm just going to to paint and that part that I'm painting right there was just to clear up a little bit of a mess of the gelatos. So 
So there you can see um, I finished my journaling. Um, if you have a moment, go to my blog and read the journaling. I think it will mean a lot to you. It meant a lot to me. And I wrote it in the form of a little letter to my youngest girl. Because one day when I'm not there, I hope my scrapbooks preach to them. Keep them on the right track. <laughs> so I'm going to mount it on this beautiful piece of chamel um, cardstock. And of course, my tape runner will run out on camera, which happens every single week, almost. And while I'm just getting a new refill, this paper... Um, I just found that it's soft and delicate and it just made a beautiful background to this layout and you can see I'm adding quite a few strips of adhesive just to stretch out the, the cardstock a little bit and there you go I'm done. I think it worked out beautifully it's so simple so easy I think the whole layout took me maybe 20 minutes and you can see a little bit of the details. Thank you so much for watching. Go to my blog for related products and more images. Bye-bye.